Okay, folks, I want to make a quick video here about the proper way to cover your well. Now, there is a right way and a wrong way to cover your well, and I'm going to go over it really quick to where you won't have the issue with your pipes freezing, and I'm going to explain why. Okay, so the first thing that you have, we're going to say you have your, your well here okay you have your ground level and your casing here sticks up the ground sticks above the ground 12 inches and then down here around 30 foot you have your water table all this is your water okay now most people either have a concrete cover or they have one of those fiberglass or plastic mock rock covers. Now, what I'm going to explain here is the proper way to put one on and, and the reason why it doesn't freeze. Now, you're going to take your cover. We're just going to make the image of a fake rock here. And you're going to have a well seal here. Your pipe coming down. Pipe goes up, pipe goes over, pipe goes down into the ground, and it goes to the house. And this is, this is your cover. Now, if you just go to Lowe's and you buy a cover and you set it on your well, that does not work. You must take your cover, whether it is concrete or whether it is a fiberglass insulated mock rock or whether it is a plastic rock, you must set it on the ground. The ground, if possible, needs to be level around the well. You must then take... I normally tell people, because it's easier, go to the hardware store and buy four bags of mulch. Or you can do sand, or if the well was recently drilled, you can use dirt. So you either use mulch, sand, or dirt. Then what you need to do is you need to seal around the edges all the way around the rock and fill the edges in all the way around. Now what this does, this prevents air from outside. Let's say it's 20 degrees outside. The 20 degree air can then blow underneath, making underneath here 20 degrees, thus freezing your pipe. Now if you have the edges sealed all the way around with dirt or mulch or sand or whatever it may be, you take this out of the equation. Now, what what most people think is, oh, I'm going to leave the water on and I'm going to let it drip and that's going to prevent it from freezing. Well, that that's true, but not in the sense of what you think. The reason it doesn't freeze is because if you leave it dripping overnight, when the pump kicks on, what happens is this open space down here is 52 degrees that's the temperature of under of, of the subsoil so this pocket of air down in the well is 52 degrees when your pump kicks on in the middle of the night what's going to happen is your water level here is going to drop as it drops air will be sucked into the well it will be cold let's say if it's 20 outside let's say it's 30 35 in here the air is going to get sucked into the well. Then when the pump cuts off because the tank is full, the water level down here has dropped to this level. What's going to happen is the water level is now going to come back up. And when the water level comes back up, the air that is down here, which is 52 degrees, then pushes out the top of the well, heating underneath inside. So this is why it is always important to cover your well, make it sealed on the sides. This is how to prevent your well from freezing in cold weather. Thank you all for watching. If you like, please hit that subscribe button.